Jerusalem is the heart of the final events, not the sparkling lights of San Francisco, the grandeur of Los Angeles, the power of Moscow, or the romance of Paris. In times of deep darkness, God, in His infinite mercy, provided a beacon of hope to Israel by appointing a powerful protector for His people, the Archangel Michael. This tireless guardian of Israel is more than a figure in the Scriptures. He is a constant and comforting presence. Whenever Israel faces hardships, there are tangible signs of God's ongoing faithfulness. These signs serve as bright reminders of His unwavering protection. We invite you to watch this video until the end to witness the profound manifestation of divine love for Israel. Let us unite our prayers to find comfort and security in the arms of the Almighty. God, in His infinite mercy, has appointed an angel to protect Israel. Despite two millennia of dispersion and persecution, the people of Israel remain. All attempts at annihilation from the Babylonians to Hitler and others have failed. The survival of the Jewish people, while many nations have disappeared, is a clear testament to divine protection. Nowadays, the restoration of Israel by God is truly astounding. In less than a century, the Jewish population in this small country has skyrocketed, growing by 7,700% due to mass immigration that can't be explained by worldly reasons alone. Israel, which has always faced enormous challenges, continues to live under God's eternal promise never abandoning this sacred land. This people were chosen by God and assigned an angel for protection. Michael, the archangel, a pure being and God's messenger, was sent to safeguard God's people. There are many reports of heavenly visions appearing over Israeli armored vehicles, looking like a swarm of angels, bringing inspiration to the Israeli troops and fear to their enemies. It seemed like a true divine shield. For many scholars and believers, this event is seen as a clear divine intervention, a sign of Israel's protection in a time of great need. This phenomenon not only highlights the impressive resilience of the Israeli people, but also underscores the complexity of geopolitical relations in the Middle East during these turbulent times. When Israel declared its independence in May 1948, it had no idea it would face a massive storm. Like a newborn baby surrounded by predators, the young nation confronted five eager Arab armies, Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, and Iraq. The Arab leaders, confident of an easy victory, didn't realize the unbreakable strength and courage of the Jewish spirit. Despite being seen as fragile and defenseless, Israel shattered that perception through the bravery of its militias, leading to a humiliating defeat for the invaders. This triumph is often seen not just as a reflection of Israeli courage, but also as a clear sign of divine intervention in favor of its people. Twenty years later, in 1967, Israel found itself again in the midst of the Six-Day War. Once more, the combined forces of Egypt, Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon, supported by Iraq, sought to wipe Israel off the map. Facing overwhelming numerical superiority, Israel made the bold decision to launch a preemptive strike, decimating the Arab air forces while they were still on the ground. In an almost miraculous feat, in just six days, Israel not only defended its territory, but also expanded its borders, capturing the Sinai Peninsula, the Golan Heights, Gaza, the West Bank, and for the first time in 2,500 years, unifying all of Jerusalem under its control. In the vast landscape of historical challenges faced by Israel, many scripture scholars see not just simple misadventures, but deliberate steps allowed by God, paving the way for Christ's future reign in Jerusalem. One of the most notable stories on this journey happened in October 1973. During that year on the holy day of Yom Kippur, Egyptian and Syrian forces launched a coordinated attack against Israel, trying to regain territories lost in the 1967 war. For Jews, Yom Kippur is a deeply meaningful day, marked by introspection and repentance. It's a time of fasting, intense prayer, and seeking reconciliation with God. Amid this atmosphere of devotion, Israel faced one of the most severe military trials in its recent history. During this tense moment in history, right in the heart of military conflicts, Egyptian forces made a surprisingly successful crossing of the Suez Canal, facing fewer losses than expected. At the same time, Syria launched an attack on Israeli positions advancing into the Golan Heights. Despite being caught off guard and suffering heavy losses, 
the Israelis, with emergency aid from the United States, managed to push back the assaults. In critical times like these, it seemed like divine providence intervened once again in favor of Israel, especially during a period of vulnerability. A remarkable event in December 2016 stands out. A sudden dust and rainstorm appeared, rising like a natural wall between Israel and ISIS, providing an unlikely defense at a crucial moment. On the border between Syria and Israel, this unusual storm stayed put, not moving into the Golan Heights. Many see this event as a divine intervention, protecting Israel from ISIS and viewing it as a sign of heavenly care. This phenomenon is often cited as a sign of the prophesied war of Gog and Magog, which according to beliefs will confirm that God still watches over Israel. According to predictions, Islamic nations led by Russia will march against Israel from the north, and God promised his assistance. However, it's crucial to note that divine protection is conditional. When Israel strayed from its spiritual path, the divine promises didn't manifest, and the people were dispersed for a long 2,500 years. Currently, Israel is in a complex situation. With around 8 million people, many still don't accept Jesus as the Messiah. According to prophecies, Israel might go through a period of trials before recognizing the true Messiah. To understand the mission of the Archangel Michael better, we need to revisit the scriptures where he first appears. In the book of Daniel, the prophet describes a vision of an angelic being, later identified as Gabriel. In Daniel 10.5, he writes, I looked up and saw a man dressed in linen, with a belt of pure gold from upaz around his waist. This vision introduces Gabriel, who tells Daniel about the spiritual challenges he faced, trying to persuade the Persian king Cyrus to free the Jews. Gabriel says, The prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me for twenty-one days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the kings of Persia. In some versions, the word prince is replaced with angel, suggesting an intense spiritual struggle. In this conflict, Gabriel couldn't proceed alone and needed Michael's help to overcome the obstacles. In one of the most significant moments in the book of Daniel, the archangel Michael appears in a vision that anticipates the end times. Daniel 12. One describes Michael as the protector of the people of Israel, defending them against their enemies. This is the last reference to Michael in the Old Testament, reappearing only in the epistle of Jude, where he is connected to an event after Moses' death. This ancient Jewish tradition, carried on through the centuries, portrays Michael as the guardian of Moses' body. His notable presence is highlighted again in the book of Revelation, where his defensive role is fully revealed. In Revelation, Michael is described as the leader of a heavenly army, defeating a colossal dragon, as reported in Revelation 12, 7, 9. This powerful image of Michael, as a warrior capable of subduing Satan and banishing the serpent from the heavens, is one of the most impressive in the Bible. He is depicted as a protector sent to earth, with great power to overcome evil and guard against hostile spiritual forces. However, Michael's divine mission doesn't end there. He continues to be a figure of protection and guardianship, especially for the people of Israel, but also for all humanity in times of need. During the chaos of an epic battle in the skies, the thunderous sound of the archangel echoed. Lucifer, the fallen angel, was defeated. Since then, this archangel has been known as Michael, commander of the heavenly armies, a fortress of holiness. Michael became the guardian of righteous souls, fighting against the forces of evil. The Holy Scriptures portray him as the tireless defender of the people of Israel, providing comfort and safety in times of pain and conflict. The divine angels, vigilant watchers, remain among us, their presence subtle but real. The word angel means messenger, assuring us that their presence always has a specific divine purpose. Since the beginning of time, these celestial beings have been sent by God on sacred missions, delivering messages of hope, offering protection and comfort, fulfilling divine plans, executing judgments, or praising the Almighty. Accounts of encounters with angels still happen today, with some recognizing these sacred interactions, while others may cross paths with an angel without realizing it. Since the beginning of time, the Creator has sent His heavenly messengers to guide and protect His children every step of the way. With unseen hands, these celestial guardians support us, 
making sure we don't hurt our feet on the stones along the path. God's love so vast and deep is evident in the angelic protection He provides to His children. Thousands of faithful and powerful angels are sent to protect us. Living close to God, they reflect His glory and are marked by His grace, accompanying us on all our journeys. The psalmist, inspired by the Spirit, assured Jesus of this promise, which also extends to us. I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way and to bring you to the place I have prepared. This divine promise was given to the Israelites during their journey through the desert towards the land of Canaan. The angel who guided them was not just any celestial being, but the angel of the Lord, a manifestation of Christ in the Old Testament. The angels sent by God are here to protect us and help us reach the full inheritance of His kingdom. Thousands of angels dressed in radiant robes surround the eternal throne, praising the Lord with glorious songs. In this heavenly scene, they're more than just guardians, they're passionate worshipers. God's constancy echoes through the ages. He remains unchanging, a solid rock yesterday, today, and forever. However, a celestial drama unfolds. The highest of the angels, filled with excessive pride, tried to take the place of his creator. This being, once radiant, fell and became the adversary, taking with him a legion of followers who turned into evil spiritual forces. These demons, enemies of the light, constantly set traps and disguise themselves as angels of light, to divert our worship from the true God. Stay vigilant, for the enemy is cunning in his schemes. Yet God's promise shines like a beacon, guiding us to worship Him with wisdom and discernment in our earthly journey. There are times when, even without realizing it, we are unaware of our needs and the dangers around us. However, God is always vigilant, outlining a path of salvation. Often without us noticing, He weaves threads of hope into our lives protecting us like a caring father, and providing what we need even before we recognize our own lack. His justice and mercy permeate our existence, drawing us closer to His heart and encouraging us to live with wisdom and fullness. Frequently, God works behind the scenes, at a pace beyond our immediate understanding. Yet His hand is constantly extended in our favor. Even with our limited vision, we are surrounded by a vibrant spiritual realm whose presence almost becomes tangible. Let us pray that God grants us the clarity to see that angels walk beside us and that miracles continue to be performed daily by His skillful hands.